It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for our neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty woods, a neighborly day for beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in this neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Hi, television neighbors. Welcome again to this television neighborhood. Um, I got three things I would like to show you. This, um, this, uh, me, 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 this, m m m m mammal toy sh sh shark. Uh, this, uh, program of James Can, the, the program, and the book, A Swim Through the, 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 the Sea Book. And I'm going to read you something about one of the sea cr creatures before I call my dear friend uh, Maverick Lilo, which, which he's uh, part Ho Hawaiian. And he runs a, a Ho Hawaiian class in our neighborhood today and he says we are more than welcome to uh, come over there any anytime we want and see some of his uh, hula lessons which he's going to teach you television uh, children some of his uh, hula d dances. So let me just read you this one chapter. If Seymour, the seahorses who live beneath the sea, one day went exploring what do you think he sees? Hmm, that sounds interesting, does it, television neighbors? Well, now I think I'll give my good friend Maverick Lilo a, a call Be because we're going to visit the neighborhood hula classroom right now, but um, I think I'll give him a, a phone call right now to see if this is the perfect time to come over. Let me dial his phone number. Hel hello, is this... Uh, Mr. Maverick Leo, I'm speaking to. Well, yes, it is. And with whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? You're speaking to Mr. Uh, Victor S Sprinkle, who is a big fan of your uh, work, Mr. Lilo. Well, Victor Sprinkle. I want you to know I'm a big fan of you as well. I love your show. Um, my television neighbors and I were wondering if we 
could come to your hula classroom and uh, see some of some of your uh, hula d dancing while you teach some of your uh, television television students how to do the 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 hula. Well, I would love to have you come for a visit. I'm in my grubbies. I've been out in my garden. So if you don't mind me being in a dirty old shirt and some dirty old blue jeans, come on over. All right. Well, let's just go to our neighborhood hula classroom right now to meet the one and only Mr. Maverick Lilo. Come on, come along. Maverick. Oh, Victor, wow, what an honor to meet you. How are you? I'm doing fine. May I call you Victor or should I call you Mr. Sprinkle? You can call me Victor. Okay. <laughs> wow, you're like one of my heroes. I've been a big fan of yours ever since I met your fa father, Miss Mr. Uh, 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 Doug Lilo. You knew Daddy? Yeah. Oh, he was a great man. Yes, um, I would like to introduce you to my television neighbor. Oh, hello, uh, television neighbor. This is Mr. Maverick Lilo. You can just call me Maverick. Some people call me Lilo. But you don't have to call me Mr. Maverick Lilo. They can call you whatever you feel like. I don't know since, about that. Since, since, since they are my television neighbors. Mm, that's true. They're in the privacy of their own homes, aren't they? Yeah, who are watching. I guess you can call me whatever you'd like. So, so um, Maverick. Victor. What got you started in um, becoming a teacher of um, taking a uh, uh, hula d d dancing. My mother and father, they were both hula performers in Hawaii and performed for thousands and thousands of people. And as a little boy, I learned the hula just by watching them. And you first started when you were, um, Six and a half years old. Boy, you've done your research. That is correct. Six and a half. By the time I turned seven, I was almost a professional hula dancer. Yes, and your father, Doug, started when he was uh, only four years old. Boy, boy. Yeah, he started younger than I did because my mom said that was too young to start hula dancing. So, you know, he had to listen to her and waited until I was almost twice as old as he was when he started. Now, Moms were like that. They kind of tell dads what to do. Now, um, I would like for you to sh show me and my television neighbors some of the hula dances that you are about ready to show your uh, class and th th that are g getting rave for uh, tonight's uh, perf performance. Wow, you don't ask for much, do you? No, I don't. Whew. Okay, well, 
I think we're, we're going to have to step onto the dance floor at the studio. So let me take you over there. You ready? Yeah. Come on, follow me. Okay, so here we are at the studio. Are you with us, television neighbors? Okay, so the most important thing to remember about doing the hula is your hands go one way, your hips go the opposite way. So it's like this. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Now let me see you do it again. Yeah. Very nice. You're a quick learner. Okay, are we going back to our interview or are you leaving? We can go back to our interview. Okay, let's go back. Well, that was great. I think you could come and be an assistant professor of hula at my dance studio. Uh, well, Ma Maverick? Yes, Victor. You have been a fine t teacher. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. And I'm pr proud to call you as my television f friend. No, well, I am just honored to be one of your friends, you know, because everybody loves you, Victor. Yeah. Well, I, I, I better get, get, get going back well, to my t t television Place. Okay, well, it was a pleasure meeting you, and you can come back and dance with me anytime you'd like. I may be back t t tomorrow. Oh, wow, that would be a lot of fun. See you then, I hope. Because maybe means maybe, you know, like could happen, might not happen. Maybe. Th thanks, thanks so, thanks, thanks so much for giving such children uh, joy and happiness in th their their young lives who want to do the hula, Miss Miss Mr. Lilo. Well, I hope I did bring a little joy and happiness into the lives of some of your television neighbors. All right. Well. Bye. Well, come along. Let's go back to my place. Isn't Maverick a wonderful hula dancer instructor? I'm I'm glad to to show you television friends such an honorable man like that. But now I think it's time to get the neighborhood trolley and we'll have some make-believe right now. All right, last, last time in the, the neighborhood of make-believe, we were pretending that um, Bob did, the dog played by my dad was giving advice to Queen Sarah and Mary Al and ex the Al some some tips on how to do their very own hula dancing but but things weren't going out as they they planned it uh so let's pretend that um uh king King Friday needs needs some help with 
his his worries and his uh his uh shattered lives to help X and his cousin Mary knew um uh hula dance dancing but they just can't learn the 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 steps so let's make believe some more about that now as the trolley goes in front of the castle in the neighborhood of make believe are you ready to go to trolley okay I'm I'm Daniel and I want to kn to know what's happening with X and his hula s steps, Mr. Bob Dog. Well, X is an owl, you know, and owls have kind of short legs and kind of a lumpy body. They don't have much of a waist and the short legs and the lumpy body make it a little difficult for an owl to do the hula, especially when they put their wings out to try to use them like arms because they won't go together like you have to go for a hula, you know. So the owl's wings go out like this, and then he's on his little short legs. So he's having some difficulty learning the hula, but he's come a long way since we started, and I'm confident that he'll be a hula performer before you know. Uh, I... I think you're, you're a nifty galifty teacher, Miss, Mr. Bob, Bob the dog. Well, thank you kindly, thank you kindly. Oh, good, good, good day, Mr. Bob dog. This <laughs> is Mary Al. Oh, Mary, how are you? I'm doing well, dear, and may I say you're the finest hula d dance teacher, teacher since, uh, since, uh, ex the uh, first First, uh, per per performer. Well, thank you very much. That, I take that as a very high compliment. Oh, hello, dear. It's Queen Sarah. Hello, Your Highness. Your Radiance. How are you today? Yes, I hear that you are going to offer my husband and the rest of the family some lessons in hula. Yes, we'll call it the Royal Hula. <laughs> It'll be so much fun. Well, thank you so much, Charlie, for all you've done, and we'll see you next time. Okay, goodbye, goodbye Charlie. Well, I wonder what's what what kind of steps they're they're going to be d d doing ne next next time in make believe. Well, we'll have to pretend about those things another time. Y 
you know, be, being sly is trying to to find out how you can be a sl sly hula dancer and trying to help your yourself and all your families around you be a sly hula dancer as well and when you become a sly hula dancer and they're feeling sly about it you can feel sly about it too it's such a good feeling to know you're alive it's such a happy feeling you're growing inside and when you wake up ready to say I think I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling. A very good feeling. The feeling you know that I'll be back when the week, week is new and I'll have more ideas for you and you'll have things you want to talk about I will too you always make each day and each day a special one for me you know how by just your being yourself there's only one person in this whole wide world exactly like you and that's you yourself and I like you just the way you are. And I'll be back next next time. Goodbye.